Let's look at some basic configuration using the new 40 OS 7. Alright, so let's set a basic configuration on my 40 gate running 40 OS 7. The first thing that I will do is to configure the idle timeout to 30 minutes. And I'll set an admin password scope of a minimum eight characters uh, for creating an admin password. Let's apply that. And let's move to administrators. Let's create a new administrator, name it admin2. And let's set the password. Now, if I'll use a six uh, characters only, it will pop up and tell me that it must contain eight characters uh, following the password scope. All right, now let's set the profile itself to super admin. Let's uh, click OK. Now, if I'll move again and edit the new admin, I can now edit it on my CLI on the right pane. So let's just set another two-factor authentication method, which is email. So let's set two-factor email and let's set email to, let's just use 48guru gmail.com. All right. So that's for the administrator. Now, if I'll use the two-factor authentication, let's just do OK. So we will refresh the page. There it is. And now you can see that I have a new method, which is an email-based two-factor authentication. All right, so let's move to a uh, network. Let's create our interface. Let's create a new interface, which will be the finance interface. By the way, when you press those three lines, you can actually eliminate the menu so you can have a full screen page. So let's set the alias finance role LAN, let's use HTTPS, let's also use ping, and let's use an IP address of 10.0.5.1 slash 24, and I will use DHCP server, but I will only use about 54, so I'll have about 50 IP addresses, which is quite enough. Uh, nothing on the advanced DHCP uh, mode, no additional DHCP options. Device detection is enabled, which is a good thing. Traffic shaping, we will soon configure traffic shaping. Okay. Now let's create uh, a user group for those uh, finance users. So let's move to users. And let's create a user group, create new, let's name it finance. And sorry for that. And let's add them from a remote server, which is my radio server. And I have already created a group there. So I'll just name that finance. And that's about it. So the next thing to do is to create the firewall policy. Let's name the firewall policy finance out. And the incoming interface is our finance. Our outgoing is our when interface. Source will be our finance group and all. Destination also they can uh, actually um, go anywhere they wish. Schedule is always. Service is all. We will uh, not use uh, proxy based, we will use flow based. All right, so let's just save it and let's create some security profiles. We will disable any exe files from getting into or out from that interface. So let's use the block exe and let's create a new exe filter we will use all protocols that are available we will use both uh, directions and let's just use the exe and there it is and we will block it from our interface okay 
So let's just add it up to our firewall policy. And let's use it. Block exit. Okay. All right, now let's create our static route network static route. Let's create a new one. All right, and let's create a VIP object. Before that, we will create a new DMZ interface. Let's name it DMZ. The role is DMZ 10.0.6.1 slash 24. With no DHCP server, we can only, uh, let's uh, only administrate it using ping to check connectivity. All right, and let's create our VIP server. So let's create a new virtual IP, let's name it server. And there, let's use a fake uh, external IP and let's map it to our server, 10.0.6.7. Okay, now one of the nicest things is that you can actually create the firewall policy directly from that object. So right click on it, create firewall policy and let's server in and the incoming interface is our one interface the outgoing is our dmz sources all and destination is our server let's let's use only http and https as our services now we don't need net all right The last thing that we will do is to set up a new video filter and let's, uh, let's block my channel. So let's block 40 tip, don't do it, but in case you need to block uh, a specific uh, YouTube channel, then use the channel override. Let's paste the channel ID and let's block it. Now, if you'll move to fire your firewall policy, you will see that you do not see the video filter. It only works on proxy mode and using deep SSL inspection. So use proxy mode and use deep SSL inspection if you need to block uh, specific YouTube channels or restrict Vimeo sites from mature content.